Buffalo Bills are playing 17 games this year, as are all teams. However, I think it's very, very poignant that they have their opener is against the Super Bowl champs. Yeah. Usually that's a rematch of the Super Bowl. Sure, it usually is. You're right. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Sure is. Interestingly enough, the Bills were picked to play the Rams hmm. opening Thursday night. Hmm. <clears throat> so do they... Does the NFL want to open and end the season with the same game? Oh! <laughs> that would be wild, though. That would be wild. You know, it's it's fascinating to me because the NFL does tip their hand on a lot of stuff, yes. right? Like, it's, they tip their hand on a lot of stuff. And the best thing for the NFL was to have a, you know, a, a comeback kid story of a quarterback on a franchise that was just death had been decimated for decades, right? Josh Allen is one of the best things to happen to the NFL in years. The NFL, not Buffalo, the NFL, because we have a lot of people that come to this channel because they love Josh Allen. They're not Bills fans, yeah, but they vote Allen. for Josh Allen, right? You gotta stop saying that he's like the fourth best quarterback in the NFL. It's crazy. I have to stop saying that. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I, you know what? You know what's gonna happen? What's gonna One happen? of these days, we're gonna get me that vanilla cream donut, and I'm gonna wait four and a half minutes till the chocolate melts in this sweat box of a car that you have. Just melts really a little bit. Hot, is it really a hot meal today? Or you the one decides to wear carpenter jeans in my car? <laughs> I feel like a passer in a strip club right now. <laughs> it's hot. It's sweaty, and it smells like mistakes. <laughs> Why well, you gotta expose my Friday night? <laughs> There, there was a, an interview that was on NFL Network that I heard, and it was from <clears throat> the head of, uh, like, marketing. Oh, and there's some Josh Allen <laughs> Western ta Chevy Tahoe driving speaking right next of. to us, speaking, right ne speaking of Josh. Um, so uh, she was saying, you know, that that game between the Bills and Kansas City was nationally the coming out party for Josh Allen. That was the game that said that, he has arrived as the as the franchise level quarterback for everybody to see, and, and I think there were other games prior to that, so I don't think that's necessarily a fair statement. But again, a little biased, not afraid to admit that, right? But that's the way they saw it. Yeah. So they by scheduling that game, right, Bills versus LA. What they're saying is, had Buffalo beat Kansas City, Buffalo would have beat Cincinnati. And Buffalo would have played the Rams. So you're right. It's a Super Bowl rematch that it almost feels like the NFL feels like they want it. Imagine Buffalo in a Super Bowl. Imagine that for a minute. <clears throat> it'd be it would be one of the most watched games in NFL history. Oh my god. It would it be. would it would be. You would see people come out of the woodwork that mm -hmm. well, I was always part of the Bills Mafia. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you were. Mm -hmm. Where were you during seventeen years, man? Uh, no, not not to, not to be sour or anything like that, but that, it it is. It's the NFL really knows how much revenue they can generate with such a passionate fan base, and with a guy like Allen, who I mean, he's, you never hear anything about him. No, nope. there's nothing negative about the guy. No, nope. yeah, everybody talks about what a great teammate he is. You know, like he's dialed in a hundred percent. He's yeah. always on point. Mm -hmm. Right. Every interview ends with Go Bills. Like that's it's that's subtle, but every interview he ends with Go Bills. When do you hear other players do that? You don't. No. Like it's establishing the example. Like he knew when he got drafted that it was going to be an uphill climb for him because there were a lot of people that were his detractors, and that switch turned on and it just has never turned off. Yeah. That is, I still have something to prove every single day, and it's not like. It's not vindictive. Like sometimes people have, you know, have an ax to grind and it's vindictive and they'll take the team down with them. Yeah. yeah. Alan doesn't have that. <clears throat> Are That's you referencing that. Marie again? <clears throat> I mean, listen, if you, if you had, dude, he's got to jump to see over his offensive line. And even then. 
every time I see Ted, <clears throat> the movie Ted, yeah, him run. I can't get. I can't unsee it. Um, no, but you you started to see. See that he, the Kyler because, Murray. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, Kyler Murray to me runs like Marvin the Martian. Do you remember Marvin the Martian? His legs would go I, a thousand miles an I, hour. I, yeah, I, I, Kyler Murray to me runs like Marvin the Martian. My um, but, but the NFL is not only smart, but for scheduling purposes, they may think like, oh, listen, this this, a lot of people, you're not alone. That that analyst wasn't alone in thinking if the Bills would have beaten Kansas City, they were going to the Super Bowl. There wasn't. The, the Bengals really didn't pose a threat. I mean, the Bengals going there was actually a, a miracle in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but the NFL sitting there going, okay, after next year, Brady's probably done. Two or three more years after that, Rogers, Rogers. is done. Yep. So we're going to have to find other faces in the NFL that, you know, so they had Mahomes. They knew they, had, they already had Mahomes. Okay. Burrow. And you're not really not really sure about Burrow yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. Allen, that was like you said, it's coming out part. So now you have Allen, like in a few years, I'm saying, you're gonna have Allen and Mahomes both in the AFC that are gonna be the faces of your of the NFL. Right. Well, and you're right. Look at the NFC. What who's the best quarterback in the NFC? You lost Wilson. Yeah, Wilson's gone. Right? <clears throat> who's the best yeah. quarterback in the NFC? I, Stafford? I mean, Brady. But, I mean, remove Brady from the How conversation. How dare you? <clears throat> remove Brady. From How the dare you? He's the greatest quarterback. He's a bad dude. Did you, did, did, you, did you almost call him a GOAT? No, no. He's the greatest quarterback of the NFC. Like, that's undebatable. It's not debatable. His resume says he's the he's the best quarterback in the NFC. Oh, resume. Not, not resume. What, what else is the measuring stick? Any, it doesn't matter. Who won the most recent Super Bowl? Who beat Matt Brady? Stafford? Matt Stafford. Oh, when the wins aren't a quarterback stat. No, wins aren't a quarterback stat. I'm I'm so confused by that. I try to think about that. And that wins aren't a quarterback confused. stat. Yeah, I was getting confused. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not trying to think about it anymore because it hurts my head. Sure, that's not the ice cap. It could be the ice cap. And those those individuals that might try to bring up, well, you know, Allen has beaten the Rams before. That's a completely different team. It's not the same. Team. It's not the same. It's completely different. It's, team. Same team. it's a different animal. Like, and here's the thing. You know how we always talk about, you know, Buffalo very well could lose that game badly. They very well could go to L.A. and lose that game badly. 100%. Because we talk about it, and I hate to be a broken record, but we bring these things up all the time. We bring it up again. At the beginning of the season, your defense wins you games. At the beginning of the season and at the end of the season, your defense is often the thing that is driving the bus. Mm -hmm. Right? Your offense takes over in the middle, but it takes a few weeks for your offense to get clicking. Mm -hmm. Like... It is very possible that that Rams defense is going to be on full go and it's going to give Buffalo more than they can handle out of the box. Yeah. Remade offensive line. Like, I'm just saying, there's some variables here that are not – Yes. They're not great for Buffalo. You know, the Rams are right now seen as a one-point favorite against a team that didn't even make the conference championship. I think that's pretty fascinating. Or didn't even, yeah, they didn't make the conference championship. I think that's fascinating to me. A lot of factors. I mean, rosters are still at 90. We'll look to see after, you know, certain things happen. Right, but it's... But yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, it's, you know, early in the season, offenses take a little while to get clicking. Like, that didn't, you know... I don't know, man. Like, that game scares me a little bit, but I appreciate the NFL for giving Buffalo that game because it's almost like saying, listen, we know. Like, <laughs> listen, that, I thought you were going to say, yeah, because the Bills offense has a tendency to meander. <laughs> you meander down the field. <laughs> oh, look, guys, the 12 yard line. <laughs> just a <clears throat> casual walk in the park. <laughs> hey, look. Just mindlessly <laughs> troll through the forest. 
I didn't say that that, that that long ago. No, that wasn't either. that wasn't all that long ago. Just, Here's the thing: the Bills' offense has a tendency to meander. <laughs> Let's go from a distance here, right? So we just take things right out of the ta- right out the table there. You did not just say meander. They do. They just mindlessly walk through the forest. <laughs> oh look, it's the twelve yard line. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know what was funnier, the steam or the, oh, look, the 12 yards. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few seasons ago it now, was, but it, it was how that long ago. That was, that was how, all it was how said yeah. there's so much disdain in that voice. You leave me here with steam. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> What was that episode even about? It was a blooper. It was a blooper episode? I think it was a blooper episode because I, I started having Coors Light type laughing throughout the whole thing. <laughs> you go, because we were talking about Beasley, Beasley's impact on the offense when we first came in. Yeah. yeah. He goes, let's just be honest here. The Bills offense is a tendency to meander down the field. <laughs> you know, they mindlessly troll through the forest and you're saying, oh, look, it's the 12 yard line. Get ready, Steve. <laughs> field goal time. This is when they couldn't put up touchdowns. Yeah, because they couldn't, they couldn't, couldn't score a touchdown. <laughs> oh, far we've come. <laughs> oh, far we've come. <laughs>